good guys we back at it again with another video as you can see from the title today we're gonna be you know opening up looking at some of this old oh shoot recruiting mail i got from back in the day that's not even all of it i can't even find all of it you know i was walking around the house and i seen this familiar shoe box and i'm like all right like what's in there for some reason i remember that box open it up whole bunch of recruiting mail and i'm like why haven't i made this video yet because i remember being in this exact room i am in right now and I'm Googling, I'm looking up on YouTube, like college basketball mail, like, what does it look like? What it, What is it? Like, what, what's inside of it? What do they write down? Do I reach out for them to send me mail? Like, I didn't know anything about this. And the cool thing about this is, I'm gonna tell you guys why later, a lot of this mail, like, hasn't, I haven't even opened. A lot of this mail, I have not touched. Like, I haven't done any of that. You know, there's a reason why, of course, but it's almost like some of this mail is waiting for you guys, waiting for me to make this video. Let's jump into it. First thing I want to say as I'm about to open up, you know, this first piece of mail and, you know, it's from it's from Georgetown. Right. This mail is from Georgetown. And I want you guys to notice, you know, part of the reason why I haven't opened up a lot of this mail. You guys know my name. It's Brian. Right. What does that say? B R A I N, not B R I A N. And you would think, you know, as a coach and you're recruiting a player, you're sending a mail, you know, oh, we got to make sure we get his name right. That's one of the things I want to tell you guys is for a lot of these schools, they might be recruiting you, you know, for my mid-major schools, you know, the ones that are like really offered me, the mail was usually handwritten. I wish I could show you guys. I got a little video of how big that box actually was. Every single piece of mail was handwritten, things like that, because they really wanted me at the school. For these bigger schools, you know, kind of like that Cincinnati situation I told you guys about, Let's just say they don't get who they want and they got to go grab somebody just to fill a roster spot. I got to make sure I'm sending him mail just so he's still thinking about us. We might not be talking to him every day, but he'll be thinking about us if we send him mail. I'll open this up for you guys and y'all going to see. This is just a little printed photo. Granted, of course, this is Patrick Ewing, all time great. Like, and I'm a big, so I especially appreciate him. You know what I'm saying? But you know, all it is is just just a little, you know, printout, right? And this isn't a knock to Georgetown or anything like that. But I want you guys to notice, like, the bigger schools, you have to make sure these schools, like, really, really want you because they send these out. I promise you, they send these out to I don't even know how many players every single day. We'll even open up another one. So I actually found three more pieces of mail from Georgetown. And I want you guys to see how my name is spelled again on every single one brain right some of these i have open look at some of these post career opportunities this is what i'm telling you guys a lot of these are going to be you know it's not going to be handwritten letters oh you know so and so we really want you at our school another one matumbo ewing some of the great players that went to georgetown and it's nice stuff like it's really nice to get but like i said you guys have to Make sure that you're going to schools that are like really putting in a lot of effort when they're sending these things. And coaches at the same time, they have to think about it as well. Like players talk. So if I'm teammates with my AAU team, and we're all D1 basketball players and we might be recruited by the same school. You don't think we're talking about what mail we got? Coaches have to think about that. This LSU mail was a little bit different for me because if you guys didn't know, obviously I'm from Louisiana. Like this was my dream school. We went to their games when I was younger. Like this was where I was set on going. They even put this tweet out right when I first started playing with Game Elite. Couldn't sleep that night. So you can imagine how excited I was when that first piece of mail came through. We gonna open these. I've actually have opened some of these before, of course, because like I said, it's my dream school. Y'all know who that is, Ben, right? So in a lot of these, it's either gonna be talking about the school, talking about, you know, what amenities they have, or they're gonna be talking about their coaches, players who have played there. People forget Ben at LSU, was like that, like that. This one I actually haven't opened. Ben again, I'm trying to tell you like a lot of this mail, you would think that, you know, cause you see it in blue chips, you see it in movies, every piece of mail a recruit gets is gonna be handwritten from the head coach. Hey, so-and-so, we really love your game. We want you to come here. You can play a whole lot of minutes here at some school, you know what I'm saying? We can throw you this amount on the side. It happens now too, but like, that's what you think about but in reality, you're going to be getting a lot of, you know, printouts, one pagers, mailers is what they call them. And, you know, I got a lot of this Arkansas mail. And honestly, when I first got this stuff, I'm not going to lie to you guys. When I first got this and I saw how big the mail was, I'm like, oh, like maybe, 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 like maybe it's something different. Like, oh, like they, they giving me a lot of stuff, right? Draymond Green and 
Cody Clark. This must have been one of their former players just comparing them, right? This is a lot of stuff that you're going to be getting. You're not going to be getting, like I said, the, oh, yeah, you know, Brian or so-and-so, we really love your game. We want you to do this, this, and that at our institution. No, you see, it's just hard to open. See, one pager, Fayetteville, one of the best places to live. This is most of the time what you're going to be getting, unless, like I said, you are a priority. We got another one. We're going to see what's in this one too, right? Like I said, you're not going to be getting a lot of the, hey, so-and-so, you know, we really love your game, handwritten. You're going to be getting a lot of one-pagers, mailers that they send to a lot of players just to make sure you don't forget about them. Again, Cody Clark, I guess I got to look him up because I... I'm not sure who this is, but like you said, signed a 10-day contract with the Boston Celtics. Just letting any recruit know that we can put players in the league. Obviously, we got a lot more mail. I'll open up, you know, these two UGA ones for you guys. But the biggest thing that I wanted you guys to take for this video, didn't want to make it too long, was the fact that you shouldn't be, you know, discouraged because you're not getting mail. And, oh, so-and-so is sitting in a bathtub taking pictures full of, you know, recruiting letters, when for the most part, they're getting a lot of stuff like this. You're not going to get a lot of individualized, you know, send outs. Contavious Caldwell Pope, who played at UGA, again, trying to promote that. We can put players in the NBA. Most of the time, this is the type of stuff you're going to get. Look, just talking about games. For all these players, you might see, and I know you guys are going through it because I used to go through this stuff. Looking at social media. I'm looking at people who are around my same age range and I'm seeing them post on Snapchat, post on their Instagram stories. They have a thousand pieces of mail from all different schools all over the country, right? And out of all the mail I just showed you, and I didn't show you all my mail, like, let me make sure, like, I, don't, I wanna make sure I'm showing you guys everything. Um, shoot, Clemson. All right, so this one is actually, yeah, this one is actually personalized a letter. So obviously Clemson was actually one of the schools that were more serious about me. Remember what I told you guys, you can actually read this with me. Brian, I'm sorry about your broken foot injury. I know you're rehabbing hard. Heard you might be back the third week of July. We need a high motor front court player in the class of 2017. So this is, so just so you guys, you might've think I was lying about my foot injury and my timeline. Look at the date. That's June 20th, 2016, which is, remember what I said, broke my foot in June. Didn't play in July, ended up committing to Gulf Coast. So Clemson was one of the schools that were supposed to see me in July. And after that, they might have offered me a scholarship. This is what I'm saying. It's obvious that they were more serious about me because they sent me a personalized letter, even right after my injury, which I definitely appreciated. All in all, like I said, I didn't want the video to be too long. I'm actually really happy that I did end up finding this personalized you know, letter from Clemson just so I can really show you like the schools that care will take the time and sit down and sit at their desk in their office and will write down a handwritten note to you saying, you know, we really want you here at this school. Like, we really appreciate your game. We like your game. Like, we really want you here. Schools that are kind of like friends. Yeah, he's probably good enough to be on the roster, but not good enough to play. Schools like that, they'll send you like a lot of one pagers so you don't forget about them. Not because, you know, you're such a priority recruit, just so you don't forget about them, they're going to keep sending you mail. You guys have to keep that in mind, especially when a lot of you guys, you guys are watching the channel. So obviously you are serious about basketball. You're serious about making it to the next level. So I know a lot of you guys who watch this are going to get there. So make sure when you're about to make your college decision, because it is one of the biggest decisions you'll ever make in your life, you got to be thinking about, shoot, all right, how many games did he go to? How many times did he call me? How many times did he text me? How many times did this specific coach Send me handwritten mail telling me that he wants me. Make sure you keep that in mind. Like, share, subscribe, turn on post notifications. I appreciate you guys watching. Remember, if you want the one-on-one -on -one evaluations or the breakdowns that get posted on the channel, make sure you hit my website in the description. If you guys have any questions for me, need any advice, make sure you also hit that link in my description for Noodle. You know, I answer questions there, give out a whole lot of advice, anything you want on there. Like I always say, I appreciate you guys watching. I'll see you guys next time in the next video.